Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Randy with AGM. And in this video, we are talking about our new Clarion Dual Base Mag Thermal Rifle Scope. So there are a number of features that the Clarion has that, that, that they actually share with some of our other scope offerings. And there are some primary differences that set the Clarion apart from everything else that we offer. So we're gonna get into that and maybe talk about those differences and why you might be interested in picking up a Clarion. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. So as we're getting right into it, we should probably talk about some of the things that are similar with the Clarion uh, that, are, that are also similar with some of the other product lines that we, we offer. This year, if you're following AGM, you'll notice that we've come out with our new Rattler V2 thermal scopes. And if you looked at that scope line and you looked at the Clarion, you would notice that there are a lot of similarities. Among such, the body just looks very similar to the Rattler V2. You have the same familiar button layout with a directional pad on the top from the Rattler that we really liked. You even have the same battery in the battery compartment. So if you're running a Rattler V2 and you end up picking up a Clarion, they actually share the same battery and they pretty much share the same battery life. So you're still gonna get around nine, maybe nine to 11 hours of battery life on one battery. You still get two of them in the box. So that's another common feature between the Clarion and the Rattler V2. Eyepiece is gonna be the same. Still comes with the QD uh, lever here on the bottom, the American Defense Manufacturing Mount that we love. The difference with the Clarion is that it's a two lever system versus the one lever system. And that's because the Clarions are just in general a little bit more bulky. But the primary difference between the Rattler V2 and the Clarion is everything out front here. The thing that sets the Clarion apart from everything else that we offer is that these have two pieces of glass inside the system. And you might be asking yourself, why, why is that relevant? Why does that matter? So let's talk about that for a second. So the primary difference between the Clarion and any other thermal scope that we offer is the fact that you have two lenses inside the front here, two objective lenses, and what that allows the scope to do. You'll notice on the 640 resolution options, there's a number here on the top for 35 and 60. That is an indicator to tell you there's a 35 millimeter lens as well as a 60 millimeter lens. So there are two sets of germanium in here, whereas on the 384 model, you have a 25 millimeter lens and a 50 millimeter lens. Now, if you're familiar with thermal scopes, if you're looking at lots of other products out there, you'll notice that you usually have options in terms of lens sizes when you're deciding what to pick up. So if you're looking at a Rattler, you can pick up a 25 millimeter or a 35 millimeter or even a 50 millimeter or even a 19 millimeter lens in various resolutions, but lens sizes vary. And that's just a standard across the board. You'll also see that with monoculars and a whole bunch of other products. Lens sizes vary because of what they affect. And in general, what they affect is your base magnification, okay? So when we're talking about base magnification, remember that with thermal optics, we're not, we're not talking about optics in the sense that you might be used to with regular daytime optics, when you have multiple kind of layers of glass and you've got that dial on the back and you can zoom in optically. With thermal devices, such as our thermal scopes and everything else, there's a small display screen on the back and your eyepiece is just blowing that up so that you could see it in your eye. So what I'm getting at is you're not actually looking through the device. Information is being transferred to a screen and you're looking at a screen. So why that's an important feature or, or an important thing to remember is because when you're thinking about base magnification, you have to remember with thermoscopes, you really have one power for the most part. Up until this product line, you had one kind of power that you're thinking about. So with the Rattlers, depending on which model you have, you might have a base magnification of let's say three power. That's really the magnification that that unit has. And any zooming you're doing when you hit that zoom button is just blowing up the screen. You're just looking closer onto it. So we refer to it in the industry as a digital zoom. And that's been the case across the board with every product we've had because there isn't really any way to get around that unless you had two separate lenses to, to draw two separate images from. And that's what the Clarion does for us. So you might be asking yourself, well, how does that work? Or how, how are you doing that, right? You'll notice with the Clarion up front, you have your regular focus knob. So just like any other thermal scope, when you're scanning, when you're looking at different targets and different things at different distances, you might wanna 
focus things at different distances. But you'll also notice they have this tab here on the top and you can switch from one lens over to the other lens. Now when you do that, the scope will get blurry in between. Think of it as an option to go from one or the other, almost like a switch. So it's not analog, meaning that when you go in between 35 and 60, in this case, it's not like I'm on a 50 millimeter lens right now. It's either I'm looking through an optic that has a base mag with a 35 millimeter lens, and now I'm looking through an optic with a different base mag for, that has a 60 millimeter lens. And what that translates to is being able to choose between a clear image without digitally zooming in, a clear image that is more zoomed out, and then when I push this lever over, I now punch in a little bit and I get a second clear image that is more zoomed in. So what that comes down to when you're talking about the two options in front of me, we have the 384 Clarion as well as the 640 Clarion. With the 384, you have a 25 millimeter and 50 millimeter option. So if you're gonna be on 25 millimeter, that gives you a two and a half power base magnification. Now, if you want to zoom in further and you don't want to just digitally zoom, in effect, blowing your image up and losing image quality, you could, you have the choice now, to swap to a different lens, to change to that 50 millimeter lens, which will give you that extra zoom without losing image quality. And for the 384, you go from two and a half to four power, okay? Think of it as like if you had the adder, right? If you're gonna buy, we have the, the adder up here, right? One of our popular thermal scope lines. You have the option in the 384 class to get the 35 millimeter adder or the 50 millimeter adder but you don't have the option to get both of them in one scope, whereas the Clarion gives you that option, okay? With the 640 resolution unit, you go from a 35 millimeter to a 60 millimeter, and that in turn gives you a three power, or no, excuse me, a two power or three power base map. Everything else for the Clarion in terms of how it functions with the menu and how it is used as a thermal scope is pretty much similar to everything else that you're used to, probably with the Rattler V2 as well. The menu is going to look the same, adjusting brightness settings and, and, and zeroing and everything's gonna be pretty similar with the exception of a little bit of an extra step you will notice when you are zeroing these. So if you're going to be picking up a Clarion, you might notice that when you're zeroing it, you will have your zero set on a specific, uh, specific lens. And then once you've dialed in that crosshair and you've saved it, it will prompt you to switch to the other lens and proceed to zero it on the other lens. And why it's doing that is, again, you have to think of it as having two scopes in one. So there are two separate lenses sending two sets of information at different times, depending on where this lever is, right, to your screen display on the back. So that means you need two separate zeros, essentially. That's what that comes down to. It's still a simple and really easy process to follow, but just keep that in mind if you're interested in picking up a Clarion, that you do need to zero it twice at any given distance. So that about covers it, guys. That's really the primary difference between the Clarion and really any other thermal rifle scope that we offer. Think of it as having two scopes in one scope. So why that might matter to you guys if you're shopping for a thermal scope, a lot of guys are picking their thermal scope based on what that base magnification is. We've talked about that a lot on this channel. There's actually a Table Talks episode. You can go check it out on understanding or it's about base magnification. Base magnification is a huge consideration for a lot of hunters, depending on what you're hunting. So for example, right, if I'm a coyote hunter, right, Generally speaking, coyotes are further out there, and when I start seeing movement and I start seeing animals, I prefer to have a higher base mag, just as a general rule, right? A lot of coyote hunters might prefer to have a higher base mag because you need that clearer image at three power, at four power, right? Versus having a base magnification at one power, and when I see movement having to like really distort my image picture, right? The image quality by blowing up my image and trying to identify something that I've just kind of blown up on the screen, right? That might be three or 400 yards out. So for a lot of coyote hunters, they might prefer a scope that has a higher base mag, but the drawbacks to a high base mag scope is 
is scanning, is really what it comes down to. If you've shot rifles with other optics, you're very familiar with this. It's not very fun to hunt things that are really close on really high magnification, right? So for a lot of hog hunters, especially if you're getting really close to hogs, you don't wanna be punched in at four power. With the Clarion 384, that gives you the option to do both. So if you're someone who says, look, I just want to be stuck on two and a half power, I'm not really that far zoomed in, well, you can stay on two and a half power, but if you wanna zoom in without losing image quality, you can just swap to the other lens. And that gives you a little bit of extra capability. Of course, you can still digitally zoom after you've swapped to that other lens. Just keep in mind that, that you're still digitally zooming. There's really only one zoom in, you know, in, in, in essence here that uh, is going to not affect your image quality, and that's when you throw this lever from one lens to the other. All right guys, so that is it on the Clarion Dual Base Mag Thermal Rifle Scope. If you have any questions, any comments, you can drop them down below. If you wanna comment on this, you have any hot takes, um, or reach out to us. We're pretty excited about the Clarion. Um, I think it's a fantastic option for guys that are looking for a scope that can do pretty much anything, right? It's a, it's a scope that can do multiple things. It's got fantastic features for a fantastic price. And if you guys are interested, you know, let us know in the comments uh, if you have any questions about it. And uh, we'll see you next time.